Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile. Today we're still in the Lion's Eye Watch, because that's where I ended the previous episode. Yeah, go figure. We just arrived here in the previous end of the previous episode. It's about two minutes after the previous episode ended, so some people have moved, other people haven't. These quest NPCs still need to be spoken to. And I'm assuming quest NPCs based on the explanation Welcome points over their home head. away from home, for what it's worth. I'm Nessa. That future giant you just laid to rest? That was Hillock. You're lucky. He's eaten stronger exiles than you. Don't count on that luck lasting. It's in short supply here in Rayclast. Still, you've rid us of a curse, and we owe you our thanks. Lionel's watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wreck, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Alright, so we have our first quest objective. We need to find a medicine chest to, to help treat these people here in this little outpost town thing. We can purchase items, sell items, all sorts of jewelry, and empty flasks. Extra, or 50% increased recovery speed on that one. Additional elemental resistances. Plus one orb of transmutation. We do not have one of those. Apparently we don't always deal in gold either. That's interesting. Some rings, all yeah, all costing various items. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try and sell some stuff. Get a scroll fragment. Five of them becoming a scroll of wisdom. Is any of this stuff actually worth anything? That's worth two transmutation shards, but I need 20 of them. Apparently, I just have a ton of junk. Actually, let's see. Can I right-click to send these to the shop? Can I shift-click? Control... Control-click sends them to the shop. I also... I see what's going on. I was like, wait, why am I getting less now? It's because I have enough for a full scroll of wisdom. Alright, let's go ahead and sell that stuff. Let's speak to Bestel over here. A dashing duelist, drenched and deserted on the dreary strand. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. Easy, lad. You could lacerate a bloke with a look like that. The name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Go. Unless... Merry Gull is gone. My crew is uh, gone. But my wits remain. After the fashion. <laughs> There's an island, a hop skipping away offshore of the terraces. That's where my Merry Gull ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor. But his medicine chest might still be there, amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands Optin was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw. But he knew his apothecary. Explains the shaky hands, if you ask me. Apparently, the doc, the good doctor, was messing around with his own herb, his own herbs, herbal. I don't know what I'm trying to say. His own herbal concoctions. Poor Nessa, not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for us all. And what a sickly, pathetic brood we are. May she live to have her own family. A real family. If anyone deserves that, Nessa does. Arrow, the Merry Gulls Cook, washed up on the rocks over yonder. Dead as a doornail he was. Buried him myself. Then, a few days later, I see him on the beach. A little worse for wear, but upright, shuffling about. A land full of disturbing surprises, this Rayclast. Yeah, we met some of those undead last time. I'm actually going to be turning down the music volume just a touch. I have a notice board out into the terraces. Let's speak with Tarkley. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us the moment his black guards dumped us in the water out there. 
It's just live or die now. Here, have one of these, and no need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Hey, we get a new... Uh, these gems. A green one this time. Our weapon sadly does not have one. We can stick it in our shield, or boots, or armor. And let's see, it's a melee attack, a fire attack for a bow, and an attack for another melee weapon. It's a dual strike, attack with both weapons, dealing the damage of both in one strike. Performs two fast attacks on target enemy with your main hand melee weapon. I'm not going to be using two weapons, so I'm going to be going with the double strike gem. We got a lot of topics to go through here. The walls of this old ruin, Lion Eyes Watch. Defensible enough with a few stout, well armed veterans. But what have I got? Starving exiles with driftwood clubs and rusted dirks. Still, there's the waypoint. A piece of locomancy. Couldn't use it till I found another one out in the mudflats under a rower's nest. Step on that one and you're back here in a flash. Though I spill my lunch every time I use the damn thing. The Eternal Empire has some right nasty leftovers. Whether it's something in the air or in the water, no one stays dead in Rayclast. Not the first time. Can take a little while, but sooner or later, corpses wake up and go looking for breakfast. Vestal's a strange fish, best taken salted. That hat he wears, plucked it right off the real captain's head. The captain didn't mind. Generous fellow had given the rest of himself to the scavengers already. Ah, so Bestel was in fact not the captain of the ship we're going to be going to look for shortly. Ness is the best of us. Not one of Dominus's exiles. A wreck survivor. She keeps us from losing what's left of our minds. Salem's sweet tongue sang it right. The fairest flowers bloom in the foulest places. Evidently true. Alright, we have some more items we can look at to buy here. Uh, let's see, these two-handed? I'm thinking that he, they are. Alright, that's it. Stop. Two-handed maces, yeah. A rugged quiver. That's some random stuff. This was a nice hat. Everyone likes a hat. Unfortunately, this all costs scrolls of wisdom. A glass shank. A nailed fist, sort of like bronze knuckle style thing, I guess. An armorer's scrap. Improves, improves the quality of an armor. Okay, let's poke around uh, Lion's Eye Watch Place. A brief moment more. We haven't checked the notice board yet. So, uh, here's the waypoint that we were just told about. Next one's in the mudflats, apparently. Mercy Mission. Oh, okay, this is our quest. I guess it tells us where we're going to be going. You've quest complete. You have slain Hillock and have received a reward from Tarkley. And Bessel has informed you that his ship, or not his ship, beached on a tidal island contained a medical chest. Find it and take it back to Nessa in town. Alright, check this notice board. Oh, wow. Alright, here we go. Public parties. We can create a party. Friends. Forever Alone. Yeah, actually, I started playing like two minutes ago. Bunch of available parties from the looks of it. What's the name of the quest? Do I have a menu I can open for quests? Options, inventory, characters, maybe hiding in here somewhere, no. Passive skills, social panel. Oh, well, I know I can check it at the waypoint. Okay, it's, it is Mercy Mission. Let's see, anyone have a thing posted for Mercy, Mercy Mission? 15 to 40, level 4 to 7. No level 1 to 2 quests from the look of it, or level range. 
parties. Let's head out solo. We'll do this solo and then we'll start jumping into groups after. I'm still getting accustomed to the game here, you know. Remembering to right click is very difficult. Or middle click, wherever the heck they ended up. Pressing Z will toggle always displaying items. Alt highlights them. Not the most pleasant of arenas. For demonstration purposes, I, I apparently it. have it toggled on. That's For pressing now. Alt and that's pressing Z. Yay. Okay, uh, what, are, what the hell are we doing? Seagulls. Chase them off. Let's see if I can actually stick this in a shield if it'll give me the ability. It does, that's nice. I guess because it's uh, main hand specific. Let's go try that out. Nice. I'm liking it. It's a new weapon too. I never tr I got this from Hillock. Never tried it. Or have not tried it prior to this, anyway. Yeah, you didn't see what was coming. Actually, you did, because you were walking towards me the whole time. Goat hide buckler. Uh oh. Let's get out of the fire. Fire bed. Trick a potion. Let's run like hell, because we're dying. Shabby jerk. I want to check out that shield here in a second, too, as soon as they're dead. A rusted sword, which I'm not going to be using. Maybe I won't. No, not going to be using it. Alright, goat, goat Hide Buckler. 20% chance to block, 12 evasion, 26%, and 9 armor. Alright, let's compare. Physical damage reduction drops to 19%. Yet again, it and I'll, I'll lose my gem slot also going to the buckler, so, well. In this case, it's going to be an easy choice because of that. Ooh, a chest. Many chests and some crates. And... Okay, these things are actually a little bit tougher than everything we've encountered so far. I can still occasionally one-shot them. Gravel eaters. No more sand spitters, apparently. All right, let's get that other chest before I forget about it. And it was empty. That sucks for us. Superior shabby jerkin. Another mana flask. Don't think I'm gonna end up using it. As a skulking wet. It seems this new arena suits me. Skulking wetch throws a burning flask over my head way into the distance where it presumably exploded against the hillside somewhere. I really feel like K should open the skill menu. What does open the skill menu? P opens the passive skill menu. Alright, let's increase our melee damage by another 10%. We're gonna be working down this one-handed attack tree, I guess. Let's go, just go straight for strength. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's where I'm putting points. Plate vest, another chest. With nothing in it yet again. Oh, how these chests taunt the crap out of me. Preemptive potion drinking. No one end up needing a one or two ch uh, sips here. Right, I got a gem level up. Glass blower's bauble. I just picked up a steel plate vest or something. Glass blower's bauble. That's probably a caster item. The flask I picked up did not actually do anything. Ooh. Improves the quality of a flask. Let's try this out. Maximum quality is 20%. Let's try increasing one of our health flasks. Apparently that didn't work. Let's just talk about the number. Can I increase... No, am I doing this wrong? Right click this item, then left click a flask to apply it. Alright, can I not do it while it's equipped? Is that perhaps why? There we go. Quality plus 5%. Covers 63 life over 6 seconds. A 
upgrades a normal item to a rare item. I think this is a rare item already, so that's not going to help. I really don't have any other decent looking items that I want to upgrade at this point. 14 armor, no variation there. Oh, I lost my flask charges when I unequipped it. For the moment, I'm kind of ignoring chat. It's like I saw something before, saving someone gives something. And, uh, for the moment, I don't want to get huge major spoilers yet. Anything, anyone actually watching this who has played it, by all means, feel free to drop comments. Nothing particular spoiler-wise, like, as, as far as the story goes. Ooh, Fire Fury, we have a boss up here. Drink a potion, let's dodge that rain of fire she's throwing at us. I don't even know what the hell that is. All I know is I probably don't want to be standing under it when it hits the ground. Right, let's spam our double strike and just kill her really quick. My spirit is spent. I just pick something up, don't know what, a medium life flask. Well, now I wish I had saved that orb. Superior rusted helmet, it's another small mana flask with an enchantment on it. And we have a bunch of stuff to identify and not enough stuff to identify them with. So let's go ahead and start swapping out some gear. Rusted helmet, that is definitely a better helmet than what I'm using. Go ahead and identify it. Plus eight strength. Definitely can't complain there. The goat hide buckler is going to have less. Actually, it has two slots, so I wouldn't lose anything there. But I'm going to lose a green slot, so don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and identify this other flask. Slightly better than what I have. Actually, I'm going to swap the order because that has a higher percentage, so I want to use that first. Ah, oh, yeah, my double strike gem leveled up. Let's see, 1870 and 18.5874. 19.78.74. So that did indeed get better. A cleave gem level up yet? No, I guess not. Barrels. Broken barrels. We were over here already. Some guy speaking in Dutch or something. Some guy <laughs> bitching about guy, the guy speaking in some other language. I believe in traveling light. Ah, inventory's full. I would have. Where are we? We're in the terraces still. I would have loved to have come across a uh, another waypoint already, but I guess no such luck with that. Ooh, another chest. Chests are always good. Actually, no, they're not always good. They're full of false hope and promises that when you open them up, you find them empty, you just are dis disappointed and disheartened. That's a lot of stuff over there. Time to mow them all down with our cleave ability. Preemptive potion of healing sip. Slightly late mana what's called Mana Potion Sip. And for our efforts, we find a blacksmith's whetstone. And we can get to our treasure of nothing. I really am liking the automatic filling up of flasks. It's like I don't have to keep jumping back to town like in Diablo 2, it's like, oh, I need potions, let me go to town portal quick, and oh, let's go back. None of this stuff really sells particularly well. It would suck if it did, and I'm leaving, like, a ton of money on the ground. They're all gray items, though, so I imagine it's nothing too spectacular. Ah, the mud flat, mud flats entrance. Part of me feels I should really be exploring the rest of this area before moving on. Part of me wants to get that white boy and head back to town and sell some items. Because everybody loves loot. 
So let's group all these things up as much as possible. Just run around until they get a little closer to each other, and time to maul you all down. This time for our efforts, we get nothing. Or a goat hide buckler that I'm not even going to be bothering to pick up. Ah, another level up. There's something I'm a little curious about before I spend that point, also. And I need to open my character panel to just to see. What does strength do? Two strength is plus one life. Five strength is plus one melee physical damage. Now we know. Alright, so that would be plus two life and plus ten percent physical damage. Or we can go with four percent increased attack speed with one-handed melee weapons. Hmm. Plus thirty strength. Plus 30 strength there, but we'd also get 6% one-handed damage. We're gonna continue this way. Because again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and I'm just spending points randomly. In hopes that a one-handed duelist is in fact a good idea. I'm sure this isn't gonna be- this isn't yet like uh, Diablo 2 or whatever, where there's like perfectly optimized builds where everything was all calculated out. I am sure there are some basic ideas of, oh yeah, this is just a bad idea, don't even consider going with this skill route, or, you know, like, for example, a duelist with a bow, dual wielding split doesn't work. Well, actually, it might not be a good example, because they were both off in the same direction. A duelist with a bow and two-handed weapon split might not work, because you're going in two directions on the skill tree. But again, I don't know. So, it is what it is, and if it doesn't work out, well, I believe in hopefully much. I will have fun in the process. Ooh, a portal scroll. Part of me is very tempted to use that immediately, but I think I'm going to go to this last little corner over here, hopefully, hopefully finding something good in the process. If not, I'm going to use that scroll, go to town, sell what I'm carrying, and then pop back out. And, uh, pick up everything else on the way to the mudflats. Or I might just say screw it and go to the mudflats, let's just do that. Seagulls, I wonder if I use a bow if I can... I always swap weapons. What is Quirt for? It's, it's just more ability slots. Tab to swap. Tab opens the map. Maybe the tilt button? I don't know. I guess I'll find out here in a moment. As I start pressing random buttons and hoping nothing bad happens in the process. And zoom in and out. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to play like that. I guess it's just so you can see your character. Kind of like a uh, old-style World War One, World War Two helmet I'm wearing. Kind of like a bulletproof vest kind of deal on too, like very primitive version of one. All right, here's that waypoint. I'm glad I didn't use that scroll now. Although apparently I'm not going in the correct direction for the mercy mission. And if I head back, will I be in the same instance, or will this everything have repopulated? Alright, looks like we're in the same instance, and I believe I see the trail off to an island that I kind of overlooked. Alright, we're on the tidal island. What is the worst that could happen? Well, we get attacked by more undead, although I think that was kind of expected. Did this just die already? Sheesh. Uh, 
I believe in traveling light. So I leave more loot on the floor. That one actually has a green slot on it, but still not going to be picking it up. Oh, cleave spam time and another portal scroll. Nice. Gem level up. Let's go ahead and click that quick on the side of the screen. Don't have to actually go in the inventory for it. I, I'm assuming that it actually got better. I don't remember what it was previously. And we leveled up in the process and got more strength and what have you, so... Not quite so easy at this point to just look stuff up. What the heck is this and why is it not going in the stack? Ah, it's a portal scroll, not a wisdom scroll. That would explain why it wasn't going in the wisdom scroll stack. Another empty ch Another chest with something I'm not picking up. At least it wasn't empty. Oh well. Alright, where is this medicine chest hiding? This island is very square. I was kind of noticing that on the minimap. It, it's a very, very square island. Uh oh. Holy crap. I got frozen in place and could not move. Well, now we died. What happens? Let's resurrect, see where we end up. Well, we're in Lion's Eye Watch again. Nothing bad yet. I didn't drop anything off my body. I don't think I lost anything, for that matter. <coughs> right, let's go ahead and sell items. We have some other uh, dialogue options I'm not gonna go through right this second. So I'm just gonna sell my crap so I have inventory space. I... I never equipped the medium life flask I found. Why am I not able to? Alright, first things first. Let's sell some of our 40 mana flasks. Alright. Let's go to our inventory. Okay. Yeah, just in case I end up wanting to swap out between the mana. I should have, I should have saved one of those mana flasks as well. Uh, let's... What do we have here? Ah, chat window. Your mama, portal please noob. Alt F4. Yep. The mature crowd of people playing this game already. Pillars of our society. I guess we're just gonna drop everything off, except for the scrolls. I don't think I'm gonna be using any of these in the field. Let's see, where... Eh, I'll stick that up there a little bit. Alright. Let's head back out to die. Or not die. To try not to die. Why am I? Oh, okay. Here we go. Was not moving like I was expecting to. Can't teleport there. Let's teleport to the mud flats. If it's hopefully this won't have repopulated. No idea how this all works. Instances reset after being empty for eight to fifteen minutes, destroying any something. Did not have enough time to finish reading that. I should have just read it to myself and I explained it, but there you have it. If it's inactive for 8 to 15 minutes, it shall reset. I wish I knew what the, part, the destroying part of it meant, but whatever. Eh, for the hell, let's go the other way this time. Get more experience and junk of trash loot to sell. Oh look, another chest is going to prove to be empty momentarily. My spirit is spent. Our double strike gem getting close to level up. It's appearing on the side about 75% of the way to level. I'm hoping that scales a little bit. I could see if these gems end up taking a lot of experience to level later on. That could be annoying having it sit there forever and ever. You know, later on, you know, it takes 500,000 experience. Now, only show it the last couple percent if it's going to be moving slowly. Ooh, yellow named item. As soon as I kill these couple things, I'm going to be taking a look at that, that's for sure. Maybe kill this enemy I kind of just ignored and walked off away from. 
Blue slot, that's not good. Or it's less than ideal. 7 to 16 damage. That's definitely more. Let's see, can I use that? It's on gloves, apparently. I can use it if it's on gloves, so I can swap that, no problem. Plus 11 strength, plus 1 mana gained when you kill an enemy, and plus 6 attack rating. Or accuracy rating, excuse me. So yeah, found an upgrade. Nice. Oh great, Tile Striders. Tide Striders, rather. So means basically they're a water elemental or some sort of creature that attracts water to its body. Because it looked like it had some sort of tentacle thing going on. I don't know what the deal with that was. Maybe we'll run across another one here in a second. Oh, maybe we'll run across three of them. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh look, an empty chest. Oh look. Junk. Is that a path leading up to the center of the island? No, it just goes to the other half. I think I'm liking this new weapon. I was often needing to give these guys an extra hit. I don't want to get by that magic, so if I can lure some of these things around the corner and take them out before I deal with the boss, that would be perfect. My gem, double strike gems, ready to upgrade. Alright, boss time. Uh, Hellrake. Resist chaos, extra cold damage, and cast ice spear. Yeah, I saw that ice spear last time. Hey, medicine chest, a bunch of other items. Corroded tower shield and a rusted helmet. Let's look at those first, because my inventory is once again mostly full. Alright, that's pretty much the same as what I have. Fle reflex, two physical damage to melee attackers. 8% lightning resistance. Alright, let's check out the tower shield for now. And that is definitely going to be better than what I have, but no green slot. If I can stick that in my boots, that will work perfectly. Die, guy sticking up on me. Yeah, requires level 5. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can leave those in my boots for now. Or leave that in my boot for now. Boot. Boots. Yeah, plural. Superior Plate Fest. Quality plus 6. Armor 15. Right, that is better. Uh, wrapped Mitts. 9 and 3. Evasion. Wait. Evasion 9. Energy Shield 3. What the heck is Energy Shield? does not say in here. It's on the miscellaneous. No. Charges. No. Did I misread it? It is in fact in here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Scale, wait, scale vest too. Stuff everywhere. Armor 19, evasion 19. That actually looks better than what I'm wearing. That would be because it is better than what I'm wearing. Alright, let's get the, this medicine chest here. Drop the simple robe. Uh, wolf shoes. I'll need that green slot shortly. So, all this other stuff I think I'm going to be leaving here. Let's see what, what was in this chest. Ooh, an amulet. I don't have one of those yet. So whatever that is, I'm likely going to be wearing it. 2.3 life regenerated per second. Nice. That is pretty nice compared to what I've been using so far. Alright, let's check out this portal scroll. Alright. Kind of what I, what I expected. Kind of a rounder version of the Diablo 2 portals. Alright, so we're back in the Lion's Eye Watch. We found the medicine chest. Our, ch our first, well, our second quest is completed. That's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Path of Exile. Next time, we're going to give the medicine chest to Neza. Check out some of those other uh, dialogue options. And maybe get another, uh, another quest or just go explore someplace like the Mudflats. 
Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and/or subscribe. Have a great day.